Hello and welcome. In this session, we will cover how to use Google Jamboard for instructor and student collaboration in the classroom. In this session, we will discuss Jamboard and how it can be used as a collaborative tool in the classroom for both teachers and students. Additionally, we will provide assignment opportunities using Jamboard both individually and as groups. Finally, we will cover important practices in using Jamboard in the classroom. Jamboard is a tool that allows up to 50 users to collaborate and share ideas in a digital whiteboard environment. Content from the Jamboard can be saved and shared out as a PDF file or PNG image. Jamboard has a wide array of tools as seen on the left hand side of the Jamboard screen. The paintbrush tool at the top of the tools menu allows for freehand drawing on the screen using a paintbrush. The size and color of the paintbrush can be changed as needed. The eraser tool allows for erasing any content that has been drawn onto the Jamboard. The piece of paper represents a sticky note. Users can choose from six different colors of sticky notes while writing text and placing them on the screen where needed. The image tool lets users either upload an image from their computer or find an image in a Google search to add to the screen. The circle tool allows users to choose from a variety of different shapes that can be added to the screen. Shapes can be resized and their border color and interior color can be changed as well. The text box can be moved to any area of the screen and text can be added. Users cannot change the font of the text but can change size and color. The laser tool on the bottom is a laser pointer and can be used to point and articulate various areas on the Jamboard. The mouse tool allows for selection of any content on the Jamboard. Both Jamboard and Zoom have whiteboard features that can be utilized when teaching. However, Jamboard has extra features, such as different background types, which will be showcased later in this video, and the ability to save board content and return to it later. To access Jamboard, users will need to log into their Google Drive account with their ASURite email address and password. Once logged into Google Drive, users will click on the New button in the top left corner. From the pop-up menu, select More at the bottom of the menu. In the next pop-up menu, click Google Jamboard to create a new Jamboard. Users can also navigate directly to Jamboard by putting jamboard.google.com into their browser URL and clicking Enter. Jamboard can be used for both instructor and student collaboration. The next few minutes will cover different ways Jamboard can be used for both types of collaboration. Here are four examples of ways that instructors can use Jamboard in their classroom. A whiteboard space can be used to write down concepts in a lecture, draw items, or take notes. 
The instructor can use sticky notes or text boxes to create a question display for students to answer, or where student questions can be displayed in one easy area. Personal brainstorming of class concepts or mapping out a course can also be performed in a personal Jamboard. Finally, instructors can use different backgrounds to create a paper-like environment where proper grammar techniques or sentence diagrams can be demonstrated. This example shows a written demonstration of grammar techniques. It utilizes a lined paper background, text boxes with the sentences enclosed, and the paintbrush in different colors to showcase the grammar techniques. To change the background of a Jamboard, click the Set Background button in the upper left panel. Users can choose from the backgrounds offered or add an image to be the background of the Jamboard. Just as Jamboard can be used for instructors, it can also be used for students in and outside of the classroom. Students can create digital notes for themselves based on historical figures, characters in literature, or famous scientists. These can also be used for class presentations about these figures. A digital poster allows students to use both images and text within the Jamboard to create an informative poster about a topic and share it with their peers. Next, the Jamboard can be divided into different sections, and a question can be placed in each section. Students can use sticky notes in each section to provide their own original answers to the questions. This can be displayed to the class or added to Canvas as a study guide. Finally, students can use a personal Jamboard of their own to brainstorm class concepts or map out different concepts. All of the items shown here for students are templated items that users can provide. Use the links provided in the resources section of this video to access the templates. This example shows how Jamboard can be used for class brainstorming. Small groups of students can perform a brainstorm around a topic or centralized question. Individual students can also perform their own brainstorm to submit. Users can use one Jamboard for multiple tasks. A single Jamboard can have up to 20 frames. A single Jamboard can hold up to 50 collaborators at one time. If there are more than 50 students, consider breaking students up into smaller groups and providing each group with its own Jamboard. Always make sure to practice using Jamboard and its tools before deploying the activity to avoid technical issues. Encourage students to use Jamboard for both collaborative and individual work purposes. You have just learned how to use Google Jamboard for both instructor and student collaboration, both inside and outside of the classroom. Please visit our website for more resources and topics.